If I was to ask you what's the easiest, most delicious pie that you can think of, what would your answer be? Today we're making the pie that I think is the easiest one that everybody loves. It's decadent, it's rich, and it's not going to cause you to break a sweat. We're making my twist on a peanut butter pie. Yes, a peanut butter pie. The first time I ever had a peanut butter pie was at an Emerald Lagasse restaurant and I thought it was the most delicious pie that I think I had ever eaten. I love peanut butter and it was sweet, decadent, and peanut buttery. It just made my mouth sing. So I've been making it ever since, but I've changed things up as I often do and I know that you do too. Today I'm making my peanut butter pie with a graham cracker crust, a store-bought graham cracker crust. Sometimes I like to make it with a chocolate crust. Today it's going to be graham cracker, some peanut butter, some chocolate sauce, Cool Whip, eight ounces of cream cheese, and some Reese's peanut butter cups. Mm -mm -mm. I've thawed the Cool Whip and I've warmed the cream cheese to room temperature. And to the eight ounces of cream cheese, I'm adding a cup of creamy peanut butter. Now online, if you look at other recipes, you'll find a variation in terms of the amount of pe peanut butter. Some recipes go with a half a cup of peanut butter and others will go with a cup of peanut butter. I happen to like the cup of peanut butter because I like the peanut buttery taste, as I said. And this recipe differs from the Emerald Lagasse recipe in that the peanut butter pie I had at his restaurant had chopped nuts folded into the filling. I happen to like my filling creamy and smooth, so I leave out the chopped peanuts and I up the quantity of the peanut butter so I get that pow of peanut butter flavor. I'm also adding three quarters of a cup of confectioner sugar. And I like confectioner sugar because it will cream into the mixture and you won't have any little granules. It works beautifully. Now, before I mix the filling together, I want to prepare my pie crust. And like I said, this is a store-bought graham cracker pie crust and you could use a chocolate crust if you want. You can make your own pie crust if you want, whatever floats your boat. Another way that this recipe differs from others that you may find online or Emerald's recipe is that I like to take some chocolate sauce and I like to use a thick chocolate sauce, one that usually says hot fudge on it. And I pour some of that sauce after I've warmed it just a bit onto the pie crust and spread that around. So I'm going to have a layer of chocolate between the graham cracker crust and the filling. This is really just a case of eyeballing how much you like and just spreading it nicely around the bottom of your graham cracker crust. Now I'm going to beat together the cream cheese, the peanut butter, and the confectioner's sugar. Next, stir in half of your Cool Whip. And I'm using the original Cool Whip. I know there are other varieties of Cool Whip, but I choose the original. And you want to make sure that the Cool Whip is well incorporated into the peanut butter mixture. Next, I like to finish the filling by hand by folding in the rest of the Cool Whip using a spatula. Just scoop it all out. This way you can get a feel for the consistency of the peanut butter filling. On some recipes, you'll see that they add milk to the filling. I don't find that I need to add any milk at all. I just like this fluffiness of the peanut butter with the Cool Whip, but it does take, you know, some mixing in order to get it all incorporated. It's nice and creamy, and I know that it's going to firm up well in the refrigerator. I like to make this pie a day in advance so that I have given it plenty of time to chill because you want it to be nice and firm when you're serving it to your guests. Next, 
just pour your filling into your prepared pie crust. And you're just going to smooth the filling, spreading it out so that it's even in your pie crust. And then I'm going to add some more of the chocolate sauce. Now you have a choice here. You can, you can put it into the refrigerator and chill the pie, and then serve it like this with a drizzle of chocolate sauce. I like to actually add the chocolate sauce now. And I'm going to add a whole coating of it. Spreading the sauce. And you'll notice that I'm not going all the way to the edge. Well, you could, so you know, you do you. And the reason that I'm not going all the way to the edge is I just do want to show that there's peanut butter filling there. Just part of having my guests know what they're going to be eating. And then I like to take the mini pe uh, peanut butter cups. They are not in the wrapping and I like to press them around the edge. All the way around. And then I will cover the pie and pop it into my refrigerator to firm up. And there we have it, ready for the fridge. And if I really want to be decadent when I serve it, I'll make some fresh sweetened whipped cream to serve with a dollop on top of each slice. Mm-mm-mm.